This guideline covers all administration aspects of game, including installation, configuration and troubleshooting. Guardium manages heterogeneous environments. Agent technology allows to monitor everything but leads to manageability and scalability problems. To cope with them, Guardium allows centralized installation and management of individual agents through a specialized service called Guardium Installation Manager, in short, GIM. GIM facilitates management, but above all, eliminates the need direct access to the monitored machine because most tasks can be done from GUI portal or API. From a technical point of view, the game service is running on the operating system level based on PAL, which must be available during installation. In the case of Windows, the game installer is supplied with embedded distribution. On Linux and Unix, PAL should have all the necessary modules. In the case of Windows, the user install PAL distribution, for example, Active PAL, may be required to install additional modules, IPC run free and Win32 dry info. GIM eases the burden of maintaining modules that reside on the database server such as STAP, FAM, CAS or GAM, and especially checks for updates to installed software, transfer and installs new software, uninstall software, update software parameters, and monitors and stops Guardian processes running on the monitored system. From Guardian architecture perspective, the GIM is consisted of two main modules. GIM client, application installed manually for the first time on the database server, and GIM server, a Java servlet installed as a part of the Guardian appliance installation. GIM server can be located of any appliance and can manage hundreds of GIM clients. In the enterprises, we often configure several GIM servers in order to provide a more transparent management and minimizing traffic between elements. Each GIM client can be configured to support high availability and switch to failover GIM server in case of unavailability of the primary one. All examples presented here, based on the Guardium test environment, where we have two aggregators which cover GIM server role. In most cases, the CM backup is primary GIM server and main central manager takes GIM failover server role. There are also two collectors. GIM clients will be installed on three Linux nodes with three different versions of Red Hat and two Windows machines. Guardium appliances have been previously set up and operating within a single management domain. Game installers are available on Fix Central under STAP GameCast section, one package per operating system platform. There are three game releases for Red Hat at this moment. The latest package is for version 10.1.2. Game client need to be on the same or lower level than game server. So, if your Guardium appliance infrastructure works on GPU 100, you should use the latest game for version 10.1. If new GPU does not provide changes in the game communication and functionalities, you can use higher version of game, but please read the documentation carefully. Uploaded package archive contains game installers for all supported versions of operating system. I cannot explain why GIM package contains also FAM modules, but it isn't interesting here. In this case, package for Guardium 10.1.2 supports Red Hat 4, 5, 6 and 7. Shell installers for Linux Unix have GIM.sh extension. If operating system works on different processor architectures, we will notice shell installers also for them. For instance, Guardium 10.1.2 supports Red Hat 7 on Intel 64-bit and PowerPC Lit Endian platform. I will install Game Client on Red Hat 6.
the communication between game client and server requires that some ports are open between them. I added firewall rule, which opens these ports. More information about Guardian connectivity is available in the IBM TechNet. I provided the link to mention it article in the supporting material section on the Guardian notes. Game client and server can see one another. I copied appropriate installer on machine for Red Hat 6 64-bit platform on Intel. Ensure that installer has execution attribute. In this guideline, all tasks on Linux are performed in the rigor of work on production environments. So I'm using name, account, and all commands with leverage privileges are executed using sudo command. IBM TechNode mentions that all problems with incorrect setup of sudo as file are not managed by Guardian team. So if you can, please install game using root account. We have a lot of installation parameters, but here I'm installing Gim client with three simple parameters. There points Gim client location on file system, tap IP, defines local IP address used to communicate with Gim server, and SQL guard IP sets Gim server address. Installation is launched and waiting for its ending. It was successful, so I'm checking that the service is running. Finally, check whether the game client has registered on specified game server during installation. On game server portal, I'm looking for Monitor game processes view. The fresh installed game client on Red Hat should appear as two services, game and supervisor. In a simplified way, game process is responsible for communication with game server and supervisor. Main purpose is supervising and monitoring guardian processes. Specifically, it is responsible for starting, stopping and making sure all guardian processes are running at all times and restarting them if they fail. In the previous lab, I have installed older version of game, and now I will upload on game server the latest version and upgrade game client remotely. The module upload application allows upload game modules and import them on the appliance. The game modules have game file extension and are located inside game archive. I am looking for a module applicable for Red Hat 6 release of Intel and 64-bit OS version. Now file will be uploaded and finally we'll display it in import upload module section. I can import it using this small icon. Module installation section in manage menu contains setup by client and setup by module options. Both provide possibility to manage software on selected game client using client or module name reference. Client search criteria can narrow list of displayed game clients. The client's view shows a list of game clients assigned to the appliance. Small eye icon pop ups the detailed list of installed software. The installed on Red Hat the game client is a bundle of smaller modules, common game in its supervisor and utils. The bundle game refers to whole package, however configuration and other tasks in most cases will refer only to specific module. Please notice that installed version has release 88469. I'm returning to client list and select Red Hat. Now we can select the bound or module which we would like to manage. By default, the system displays only the latest bounds available for the selected game client. In this case, it's a version 10.05.95. If we point this bound in the module status, the message appears that this bound is not installed on the manage node. Of course, this is true because there is an older version installed. If we uncheck display latest version plug, then in the list will appear also the agent version installed by us. 
To upgrade game, I'm selecting the latest version and continue. Now we can configure module parameters. This view still uses old Guardian Portal framework and most Guardian newbies is very confused when need to do something here. View is split into three sections, combo module parameters, client module parameters and actions. In this guideline, I will show you later how to avoid use this view, but now in this exam I'm using it to confirm that it is fully functional. We selected the latest game bump and now we need to associate parameters to it and schedule installation. To do that, we have to select agent and push apply to client button. It means that all parameters defined for actually installed version will be used for installed now. Finally, I schedule installation using install update button. To start the installation immediately, enter the word now. Every task has been set up. To review its status, we can open installation status pop-up. Here we have clear information that new version of game bound will be installed. Task is in depending status. Now, when game client will communicate with game server, it happens every 60 seconds, we'll notice this request. Download new version of game package and set up it according to defined parameters. The successful installation will be notified by message installed in the status column. Game Agent has been upgraded to the latest version and it is operating. We can also uninstall module from data node. I am using the same flow with small difference. Instead, install update, I will invoke an install action. The game client uninstallation is allowed if all other modules managed by game, for instance STAP, FAM, were uninstalled before. After a moment, information about the game client status disappears, which means it is uninstalled. The installation process removes all files from Node. Be aware that full cleanup of other game modules for instance STAP can be done after system install. Now I will install game client again, adding game failover server specification. This time the primary game server will set to CM backup and failover to CM primary. Additional parameter defines HA configuration has named failover SQL Gar IP. Agent has been installed and successfully registered on the appliance.
The failover GIMP server does not receive registration messages. It will happen when GIMP client decides to switch to it in case of unavailability the primary one. Now I'm simulating the primary GIMP server connectivity problem and switching its network card off. Game client logs its activity inside game.log file located inside modules slash game slash current directory. I setting tailing of this file and waiting for the moment when game will realize the primary game server unavailability. After a while, game client identifies problem, but before switching to failover server, we'll check connectivity a few times. Finally, game client checks availability of failover server and switches to it. I am restoring network connectivity on primary game server and we will notice that game client will identify the situation and switch to it automatically. Game client is unregistered on game failover server and fully functional on primary one. Game client can be safely uninstalled directly from node. In the game client directory, there is a parallel script, uninstall.pl. It removes all Guardian modules, including all software managed by GIMP, STAP, FAM, CAS. Be aware that some modules can require reboot to finish cleanup. For instance, KTAP. The reinstallation of KTAP will fail till system reboot. In enterprises, the new data node setup is a pretty well-defined process, where specialized teams configure hardware, operating system, and data service. To simplify Guardian rollout there, the game client can be installed by IT department when machine is created from template, and pro-configure without necessity to point game server. This game client installation mode is named Listener. When machine will be available in network, the Guardian team can register it to appropriate game server if they know the passphrase used during game client installation. It speed up data node assignment to Guardian environment. To install game client in listener mode, we need to replace the SQL guard IP parameter by a short secret one, which is a passphrase checked during client registration on game server. In listener mode, the game client opens service on port 8445 and waits for registration request.
Now, Guardium administrator can register Game Client, pointing its address IP, listener port, search secret, and Game server. Next challenge in the enterprises is the communication between data nodes, provisioners, and Guardian administrators. If huge number of systems is rolled out, we can only guess which systems are ready to activate game agents. Guardian solves this problem by being able to scan the network for listening game clients and later their joint activation. I installed on three Linux boxes the game client in a listen mode. Now I'm creating a new game discovery configuration. We can define many ranges of IP addresses which will be scanned. Guardium internally uses Nmap tool to identify the opened listener ports. I am running scan. Results contain my free Linuxes. And now I can activate game clients directly from this view. System proposes local appliance as a game server, but we can point right one. Realize that network scanning between VLANs can be prohibited, so we can do it from the appliance which is close to monitor systems, for instance from collector, and register game clients to game server located in other network segment. Activation fails because default game passphrase is not correctly set on the appliance. This default value can be changed from Game Global Parameters view. If we decided to use non-default port for Game Listener, we can should also set this value here. Now I'm activating game clients again, this time successfully, and check the registration status. One of the game clients has just registered a lower version. I will try to reconfigure this mixed group of game clients. The common modules displays only these modules, which are applicable for all of them. In this case, only game packages in version 10.1.2 for Red Hat releases 5, 6 and 7 are available on Game Server and module status informs that this version is installed on Red Hat 5 and 6. This can be seen more clearly in client module parameters. Please notice that regarding to game in version 10.1.2, available actions for Red Hat 5 and 6 are update and uninstall, and only 
install action for Red Hat 7. In other words, any action for Red Hat 7 is additionally related with its upgrade to newer version. But for Wing clients on Red Hat 5 and 6, only parameter reconfiguration is assumed. If you are making a reconfiguration module for a group client with different versions, need to pay attention to the consequences, as the result may be different from the expectations. I suggest you make changes only for groups of clients with the same version. Now I will reconfigure some parameters for GIM modules on Red Hat 5 and 6. I'd like to set up failover server. Parameter value inserted in common module section can be copied to group of selected clients. Apply to selected button. Parameter modification is visible in module template in client module section. The apply to client button assigns new configuration to selected clients but it isn't still scheduled. Finally, to set this change, we need to push install update button and specify time of execution. The scribe module reconfiguration process is not ergonomic and requires many clicks. This part of Guardian still uses old portal framework and logic, but I expect that will completely rewritten soon. Also, status monitoring in separate pop-ups is very inconvenient. Fortunately, with the help of reporting system, we can do many things easier and faster. Game client status report shows installed game module name, version, current status and issued task. Here the report displays only modules which contain game literal in the name. The failover server change has been applied on Red Hat 5 and is still waiting for execution on Red Hat 6. Finally, we have confirmation that reconfiguration finished without error. Installed status. For my convenience, I have put predefined game reports into game dashboard. Game client status report displays bounds and its components. I am filtering list to module with game literal in the name for better clarity. Game events report shows events sent from game client to game server. They contain important messages related to changes and failures. Do not miss this information with game client login. Game log file is located on manage node in game subdirectory. Game install modules report provides information about version of installed module and operating system platform. It uses identification of upgradable software. Reports can be equipped with an API call to directly administer modules from report. We see that Red Hat 7 can be updated, so I'm invoking game assign latest bound call to configure installation of game 10.1.2 with parameter settings from currently installed version 10.1. If API calls are configured in the report, the required parameters will be fulfilled automatically. The Invoke Now button sends requests and additional pop-up window identify API execution status. In most cases, the successful API call returns ID equals zero message. Now, in the client status report, we observe the change of status of game client on Red Hat 7. However, the installation has not been scheduled yet. To do that, I'm invoking schedule install call on Red Hat 7. And finally, game module schedule column in client status report notifies that upgrade procedure is started, and we can monitor installation using this view.
The game client is upgraded. Most API calls can be easily invoked from game client status report. I'm filtering view to see modules installed on Red Hat 7. Gim get client last event call displays last event sent from client to Gim server. Gim list client parameters displays list of settings for all modules. I'm searching to check current settings of Gim failover server for Red Hat 7. Game failover URL settings is not set now. Using game update client params call, I can quickly set new value for parameter. Game module status changed to pending update because new settings has been defined. I'm changing also logging level to 1. Game debug parameter. Finally, I'm scheduling the configuration update using game schedule install call. Reports allow to send API calls to group of game clients. I'm simplifying view in the report. To invoke API for all rows in current view, we need to select demanded call from action list in the report bar menu. In this case, I am setting the failover server for all my Linux boxes. In the previous example, I did it for Red Hat 7, so I am checking it from the list here. Please notice that two ID equals zero messages are displayed and confirms that two API calls has been executed. I'm changing also game debugging level. Red Hat 5 and 6 have changed configuration, and now I'm scheduling change request. After a while, all changes will be applied. Communication between the game client and the server is encrypted using self-signed certificate. Guardium allows to configure this network channel using certificates based on your certification authority. CLI command show certificate game displays current settings. Certificate assigned to game alias has been issued by IBM. The certificate change should be considered from two security reasons. 
to identify game client registration from unknown authority, and to avoid game server spoofing attack, what will be explained later. Store certificate game command allows import certificates on game server. I had a problem with proper configuration of Guardian to use two-way SSL handshaking, and this configuration assumes that both sides of communication use the same certificate issued by CA. I am still investigating the reason of this behavior. To import certificates, must prepare free file CA certificate, certificate signed by CA for GIM, and the private key generated for GIM certificate. In these cases, we have free file CA Guardium test CRT, GIM Guardium test CRT, and GIM Guardium test PAN. Now I'm putting data in order. Private key. Certificate. And finally, CA certificate. Now, game alias refers to certificate issued by our certification authority. Each change of certificate requires GUI restart. Now, our GIM server expects that all GIM clients will use in SSL handshaking just imported certificate signed by our CA. What will happen if I install game client using default certificate issued by IBM? Game client is installed. and registered on game server. However, in the information bar, we receive notification alert that system identified the authenticated game clients. It means that registered game client uses different certificates than configured on game server. From security perspective, in client-server architecture, the unknown game client registration can be used to attack infrastructure by DDoS or standard DOS attack, based on sending unwanted stream of data to utilize all system resources, or make a lot of noise which will incorrectly analyze user behave or detect anomalies. So, each unauthenticated game client should be identified as well-known resource as soon as possible. I will reconfigure game client to use non-default certificate. I placed certificates and private key in opt game search directory. Now using GRD API calls, I will modify game client settings and schedule reconfiguration. Three parameters are responsible for SSL configuration. Game CA file, game cert file, and game key file.
Reconfigure client return information that SSL handshake was successful and give client communicates on port 8446. Also, an authenticated Grim client's report is empty. Grim client installation with own certificate is also possible. CA file, key file and cert file options must be used. Client on Red Hat 7 is installed and registered. Any SSL handshake notification or other problems with communication. Game server spoofing is managed mainly by shared secret passphrases, but with non default SSL certificate, can avoid accidental registration GIMP client on not dedicated GIMP server. Please review GIMP client installation in listener mode. If Guardium administrator will try register this GIMP client from incorrect appliance, will receive information that local certificate isn't correct. Only GIMP servers should use GIMP not default certificates. If your Guardium installation is split into few GIMP administration domains, each one should use different certificates to avoid mistakes with incorrect GIMP client registration. Here I will installing GIMP client on Linux which has 5 network cards, one routable to GIMP server and 4 in non network with dynamically assigned IP addresses. All previous examples of GIMP client installation utilized tab IP parameter which points the local IP address of data node. Especially in the enterprises the data node setup can temporarily use DHCP addresses or very often use many different network cards. IT team responsible for system reconfiguration may not be able to specify correct interface or IP address. In this case, we can use auto set tab IP flag. Then, GIMP client will be registered to GIMP server with randomly selected IP address from one of existing network interfaces or managed node. System is registered by IP address displayed during registration is selected randomly. It has no influence on GIMP functionality. However, this information can change every time when GIMP service will be restarted. In this case, do not rely on reporting and auditing processes on IP address assigned to GIMP client. Use server name instead. Module upload to GIMP server from portal assumes one-by-one -one package operations. It isn't problematic in most situations when new patch arrives. However, when system is created from the scratch or rebuilt, we sometimes need to put on GIMP servers dozen module packages. To simplify this process, we can upload modules using CLI command. Import file command allows download on GIMP server group of module packages. GIMP server can get files using FTP or SCP protocol. In this example, I prepare a bunch of GIMP modules on Red Hat 5 machine stored in GIMP modules directory.
files are transferred. Then, using Guardian API command game load package, you can import just downloaded on game server packages. Now they are available. I imported modules on GIMP server which is central manager. This fact allows me to synchronize GIMP modules repository between all my GIMP server using central manager view. There are 23 GIMP module bundles on source GIMP server and we can notice that they are synchronized with another one in background. With time, on GIMP server we have a lot of old and disused modules. GIMP list and used bundles command identifies them. Game Remove Bundle allows to remove unnecessary bundles and save this space. Game Installer for Windows contains embedded pair distribution. I suggest copy zipped archive on data node where it will be installed because archive contains thousand small files. Then extract files and start execution using setup.exe file. Interactive installation is simple process and requires provide installation path only. I didn't notice in current version the difference between standard and custom installation. Then, when the files will be copied on managed system, we have some configuration steps. We can decide whether to use embedded per distribution and choose the work mode, registration on GIMP server or waiting for activation, listener mode. In standard mode, we need to provide GIMP server and local IP address. After a successful installation, a new Windows service will be run, IBM Security Guardium Installation Manager. New game client will be visible also inside monitoring processes by game server. Installed game client on Windows does not use my certificates, so it is on the list of unauthenticated clients. The latest version of game installer for Windows, which I used here, does not provide possibility to point them in the interactive installation mode. So I am reconfiguring client from game server console. Certificates and keys are placed on Windows box.
interactive installation in listener mode provides possibility to set certificates and private key. There is also possible installation from command line. Please notice that option names differ from used in Linux Unix implementation. Please use double backslash during directory path definition. Red status of GIMP client in GIMP process monitoring view identifies network connection problem. You should check network connectivity between client and server. It is possible that GIMP client has been reconfigured to use another GIMP server when the previous server was unavailable and it may lead to incorrect unregistration. If GIMP client uses different GIMP server, we can remove its instance on an old server using small cross icon. How to restart game client on data node? Game uses operating system mechanism to restart stop services, so sim process kill is sufficient method to restart game service. How to reconfigure GIMP client on data node? Guardian support discourages manual editing of GIMP client configuration file. On Linux and Unix, there is a shell tool to modify configuration. It is located in utils slash current slash file slash bin directory. Configurator DOS SH allows display current settings or set parameters. Changes are applied and does not require separate GIMP server restart.
How to monitor game logs? Most modules provide own log file. The centralized view on all logs from all install modules is available through central underscore logger dot log file located in game home directory. The game module has two debug levels, standard and full. Game underscore debug parameter value 0 and 1 respectively. In case of problems, review logs to find error or warning messages, what is very helpful in troubleshooting analysis. In case of problem with game client, for instance no updates or task in pending status, we can unregister game client from server and wait for its self-registration to refresh information about client and confirm correct network configuration. We can also execute simple configuration diagnostic. As a result, we receive game event with short report about consistency of modules configuration. Do I need to reinstall STAF if I would like to start use GIMP? No, it is possible to assign existing STAF installation to be managed by GIMP. The STAF is installed on Linux box without GIMP. STAP is assigned to Collector 1 and MySQL database is monitored. Now I'm installing the game client connected to game server on CMB. Game client is successfully registered on game server. Now we can assign a working STAP instance to fresh installed game client, but we must know the exact version of STAP which is installed on Red Hat. It is 1.0595. Then we can start STAP installation on Red Hat from game server, but ensure that it is the same version which works on data node. Without any configuration changes, I start installation. After a while, we will receive confirmation that STAP is installed. 
This time you recognize that STAP installation exists and reconfigure it to be manageable by it. STAP files from initial location in opt IBM have been moved to GIMP structure in opt Guardian directory. But STAP wasn't restarted and kept monitoring continuity. This procedure works, but concerned to do that in the maintenance window only on production servers. How often game client review change requests on game server? Game dynamic alive interval mechanism is enabled by default and controlled by parameter dynamic alive enabled. It dynamically sets configuration refresh period based on performance statistics of game server related to number of game clients, open DB connections, and CPU load on game server. I strongly suggest use dynamic interval, but it is possible to switch it off and use statically defined value on game client level. Common alive interval parameter. How to manage operating system upgrade? The game binaries works with defined operating system version. During system upgrade, the installed version of game will not work and manual reinstallation with administrative access to manage node is required. To manage this challenge, we can switch the auto install on OS upgrade flag on, which will inform game client to do self upgrade to the latest version of installed packages for new operating system version. This option is disabled by default. Game Global Parameters provides also setup to default values for game listener passphrase and port used during its activation. There are some reasons of game client disconnection from game server. Temporary problem with network connection, incorrect game client configuration, uninstalled or reconfigured game client had no chance to unregister on server. However, sometimes problem is related to correctness of process response on operating system level. Here, free Linux and one Windows clients do not communicate with their game server. On Windows, the IBM Security Guardian Installation Manager service has been disabled. On Red Hat 5, the init tab definitions for game and supervisor processes are commented. On Red Hat 6, the game services have been stopped by init CTR respawn mechanism. On Red Hat 7, similar things happened. Here, System Demon didn't run game services. Finally, all game clients communicate with game server again. What does it mean IPPR module status? If you don't use STAP Live Update, you can reach with this module status column of GIMP status report this kind of information. It informs that installation finished successfully, but new install KTAP will be applied after next system reboot. More descriptive information includes GIMP event report. May I quickly identify collector to which STAP is assigned from GIMP server? The simplest identification of this collector utilizes the game client status report. 
In case of desktop module, the column game module reports 2 contains information about referred collector. I strongly suggest use Central Manager as a primary game server, because many centralized functionalities will be available here without necessity to switch between appliances. Game reporting domains are hidden except game event, so there is no possibility to create all reports or customize them to be applicable for alerts. Fortunately, the Deployment Help dashboard includes some important events come from game infrastructure. Here, we see information about unauthenticated game clients registered in Guardian domain. In large Guardian environments with hundreds of agents, the game client selection can be a challenging task. We can use the dynamic group functionality to group game clients based on their characteristics. Based on game client status report, I will create dynamic group which will refer to all game clients work on Red Hat. It is possible to create new group directly from client search criteria. I'm creating new group of client hosting client. Then I can manually add members or populate content from report. I'm selecting game client name column from game client status report as a data source. Then set time period for gathering data. And data will be filtered by two fields, operating system type and vendor. When settings are saved, we can test its definition using run one style button. All my Red Hats appear in the output, I'm adding them to the group. Now we can define scheduler. The group will be enriched every four hours by new Red Hats if they will be installed in my environment. Using groups, I can narrow of game clients, what simplifies administration. Of 